Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get high quality 300 DPI prints in Canva. So if you're having an issue with blurry downloads from Canva, I'm going to talk to you about each download type and what you can do to offer the best quality digital downloads for yourself and your customers. So let's get started. I'm on Canva right now and I'm just going to hop over to my print that I've made or my digital design. So I've just made a design with some text and some clip art. And if I was going to download this and offer it to my customers, I would typically offer it as a JPEG and as a PDF. So some customers prefer to use a JPEG file if they are wanting to print it online or print it at a shop. And oftentimes PDFs are going to offer an easier time for them to print it at home. So if you're ready to print a digital design, you would just press this little arrow button and then it's going to offer you a few different types that you can download it as. So it's suggesting a PNG and it's calling it a high quality image. However, I've already tested it. When I download a PNG and I'll show you right now. Okay, there we go. So I have it opened up in Photoshop and I'm going to do my quick check. I'm gonna go to image size and there we have it, it is at 96 pixels per inch. Let's say I want it to just be an eight by 10. It's actually going to be 200 pixels per inch, but that's still, so it's going to be okay quality. However, we would typically want it to be 300 pixels per inch. That's just a standard resolution that is going to make sure that the quality is going to look really nice. This to me still looks okay, but oftentimes when you're selling on Etsy, you'll see a lot of the printables and digital downloads are going to say 300 DPI. So you wanna make sure you're giving the customer that high quality that they're expecting. So this was a PNG. I typically don't sell my prints as PNGs. Um, the only things that I would make a PNG is something that has a transparent background, which you can make something with a transparent background on Canva. However, you'd have to have that pro version. So things that I make with as a PNG would be like clip art um, and things with a transparent background that I might be using on like my website or something. So if you're selling like website images, you might want to use a PNG. JPEG, I always offer my printables as a JPEG. So they only offer one size of JPEG. It's a small file size. Let's download it and take a look. Go to image, image size. And then once again, if I bring it back down to the size I made it, it's 200 pixels per inch. So again, not terrible, but it might show up a little bit blurry. Okay, and we're just going to look again. So if you want to avoid any other issues, you can either, and you if you don't need it as a PNG or a JPEG, if you print it as a PDF standard, or a PDF print, they're both going to be a higher quality. So let's look at PDF standard. I'm going to again, open it up in Photoshop. And I do use Photoshop a lot for my prints too. I just like to show kind of options that you can use with Canva if you don't wanna pay for premium services like Photoshop. I'm gonna open it up, check that resolution, and the PDF standard is 300 pixels per inch, so that's perfect. Offering it as a PDF would be totally fine. I've never had a problem at, with the PDF standard. 
And then the PDF print, even though it says high quality multi-page document, I it's already, it's going to be a 300 DPI as well. So I'll just open up that second PDF, which is called high quality, but Oopsie, which one was it? Let me see. Okay, it's the one that says one. It's going to have the same resolution. It's going to show me already right here before I load it. It's 300 pixels per inch or DPI, PPI. Okay, so PDF is just fine. And then you wouldn't save it as a video or a GIF or an animation unless you had an animation in it, like a video. Okay, so we know that the PNG and the JPEG are downloading as 200, as 200 DPI. The PDF standard and PDF print are both 300 DPI, so those are fine. Now, if you want to offer your JPEGs or your PNGs as a higher quality, then you're going to want to save those PDFs and then convert the PDFs to the different file type. So I'm going to go over to a website called smallpdf.com. So let's say I wanted to convert my, my PDF to a JPEG. So the reason I want to do that is because I know my PDF already has that high resolution. I'm going to convert my PDF to the JPEG and then convert entire pages. Now I'm going to download it. I'm going to open it up. It's right here, it's 0001 JPEG, and now I'm going to check it. So I'm going to open up that JPEG. And check that resolution, and now my resolution is 300 DPI at 8 by 10. So all I had to do was take my PDF that had that high resolution, use that PDF converter to turn it into a JPEG. And now I can offer a high resolution PDF and a high resolution JPEG to my customers when I'm selling them printables on Etsy or my online website. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you can convert your PDF to a PNG and keep that high resolution file. So I'm gonna go over to PDF Candy I'm going to choose my PDF file and down here it says low quality, medium quality. I want it to be high quality. Press convert PDF and download file. Now I'm going to open it up in Photoshop and do a quick check. Okay, I'm going to go to image size, make sure that my image is the exact dimensions I wanted it to be, 8 by 10, and it is at 300 dpi. Okay, so that is how you can do the PNG. So you can use smallpdf.com to convert it to a JPEG. PDF Candy to convert it to a PNG, and I will link both of these links in the description box below. So that was just a really quick tutorial showing you that there are different file types, but that if you are having issues, if you notice that the quality of the JPEG or the PNG just aren't cutting it for you, if they're a little bit blurry, then all you have to do is download it as a PDF and then convert it on smallpdf.com to convert it to your JPEG. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.
subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more tutorials like this one. Thank you so much.